Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to part two of a year in size coding with PS, where we go over the size coding highlights of the year 2021 in terms of demo scene productions below 100 and kilobytes uh, file size in disk. Uh, we're covering the best of the year, so this is part two. So we're starting from the end of July and beginning of August. Uh, we're going to start with the releases from At Party that had a 256 byte intro competition that was one by Project Eden of uh, Marquee Design. Uh, very interesting release. Uh, then we had Silly Venture happening also in August. Uh, Silly Venture 2020 plus one because it was the one that was supposed to take place in 2020 but was postponed to 2021. It had a few uh, interesting compos, mostly for the Atari, uh, the Atari STEST 128 byte intro uh, was won by Game Over, which is actually a, a screen that takes like three minutes to render, but it looks like this. So uh, congratulations, Sedma, for winning uh, that compo with that entry. Uh, then we had the Atari XL XE 256 byte intro competition. He had a total of 11 entries submitted. We wanted to highlight uh, the top three of them. Workaholic City in the Early Morning by Zine of Agenda had a very nice uh, composition and some uh, sound effects as well. Seven by Tricks of Agenda got second place and in first place pole position by Tricks of Agenda as well. Uh, all worth uh, checking out. Uh, in Poland, in the in the late August, we had uh, a 256 byte intro competition, which was also packed with very good releases. Only total of seven entries on the compo, but a lot of high quality stuff. Uh, let's start with uh, Teru Alium uh, Altum by Sheen of Agenda for the Atari ST. Then we had Plasma by Piezo and Sheen, also for the Atari ST, that was also pretty good. Uh, Jump for the ZX Spectrum by Tigris of Speci Specchia PL. Uh, Koala did Weagle for the Atari ST, got third place, or actually combined second place with uh, Hypnotizing by Gorg. And in first place for the Pico 8, we had the first ever 256 byte intro for the Pico 8, which is quite an achievement considering you can't really cram 256 bytes into it. So uh, there were some new engineering involved, similar to what uh, are copying the system that was put in place for the TIC 80. Uh, evolving it for the Pico 8, you have less uh, space available because the card header size is slightly bigger. But still enough to make this uh, Picology uh, intro that you're seeing here by uh, Super Oak of Marquee Design. On the same weekend in Russia, we had Chaos Constructions with a couple interesting uh, compos that took place. Our old school tiny intro compo was won by a ZX Spectrum 512 byte intro, Twisterization by Dr. Max. And the PC tiny intro competition also had quite a few interesting uh, releases. In third place, Freeze and Trees by Gene X uh, for 64 bytes only uh, got third place. Uh, in second place, 256 byte intro, we had Quantum Lissing by Rubelson. And in first place, Chaos Constructor by Mark design uh, won the competition uh, in to in third to fifth of September in Argentina we had a flash party and it also had quite a few interesting uh, competitions 256 byte intro compo was won w by the entry called Amor Parados uh, by Rick of uh, Latitude Independent Association and the interesting aspect of this particular entry is that it's uh, it works on two different operating systems it's both for the Commodore 64 on and for the MS DOS. So uh, like different systems use different parts of the header to show what's supposed to be shown and you have two intros in one single file that works on both systems. It's not the first time that this is done, but uh, it's it it's, uh, was an interesting implementation. The effect is not that good because technically speaking, you end up with two 128 byte intros, but uh, still a pretty interesting achievement or the size coding nerds that are out there. Amor Parados by Rick. It won the 256 byte intro compo.
They also had a TIC80 256 byte intro compo due to uh, many releases for this particular uh, platform. In uh, second place, we had a Requiem for a Piggy, uh, Pestis making his debut on the TIC80 uh, size coding scene. And in first place, we had Flowing Triangles by Shy with some 3D voxels that just completely blew everybody's mind. How is that possible on the TIC80? Um, moving on to other demo parties in Hungary, we had Function uh, happening on the 10 to 12th of uh, September uh, physically. Uh, it had 256 byte intro compo with uh, 10 releases. In the third place, we had Go Worm by SP uh, for the MS DOS. All of these entries were for the, uh, were for the MS DOS. Uh, in second place, Beats, not Bits, Bitches by Ionic of Astro Idea. And in first place, Mems by Digging Mind Microwave Electro uh, Mechanical Systems, uh, which was nominated for a Nano Award very, very deservingly. This is one of the best 256 byte. Uh, entries from the year in my opinion um, let's see if it will win the nano awards or not um, Love Bite came back for a Battlegrounds edition on the 25th to 27th of September. Uh, they had mostly focused on Byte battles themselves, but also some size coding uh, compos. Uh, Fantasy Console 128 Byte Intro Compo uh, got some very good releases in 6th place Waves by Shy, in 5th place Behind the Glass by Ginex, in 4th place the 128 Bytes by myself, PS. Uh, in third place, Hyperspace by the Ors. Uh, in second place, Cthulhu 128 by Pestis. And in first place, Sharded by Super Rogue of Marquee Design. All of these for 128 bytes on the TIC 80. Uh, really cool stuff. On the 256 byte intro compo, we also had a lot of good interesting releases. Total of 15 uh, submissions. Uh, the ones that we ended to highlight was uh, were. This is not a broadcast by Yobe of Matt Current uh, in fifth place. In fourth place, we had Like a Flower by Ginex. Uh, City by Shy got third place. Uh, Blue Wave by The Watcher uh, of, of Tob got second place. And in first place, Fractal on Rasculus by Exoticorn of Firebird. So really good compos at Love Bite Battlegrounds, uh, which was really cool to see. A uh, special highlight to the Pico 1K Jam that took place also this year. I think it ended on the uh, in the end of September as well, uh, doing size coding stuff in one kilobyte for the Pico 8. Uh, and uh, yeah, moving on to other compos, we had Deadline happening in Germany uh, physically uh, on the 8th to the 10th of October. Um, it had a 256 byte intro compo, not many releases, only 10, but uh, all of them pretty good quality. Uh, in second place, we had Transmission by Vlad, and in first place, 101 by Automata. Uh, really good uh, entries. Um, in Portugal, we had the Inesia Demo Party that I helped organize. Uh, we had a 256-byte TIC-80 uh, intro compo for the first time ever. We decided to increase the size limitations on TIC-80 to see what it could do. And in first place, we had Inertia 512 bytes by myself, a tribute to the ZX Spectrum. Uh, in second place, we had Glory by Yobe of Matt Current. And in first place, Crackle Base by Pestis of uh, Brainless Coders. I think it was a really good compo and I'm looking forward to more uh, entries next year. Uh, we also had a byte size uh, compo where we limited to 256 byte for whatever platform you wanted. Uh, in uh, fifth place, we had a time warp for the Atari Lynx. In sec in fourth place, we had exaberation for the Electronica BK, which was really cool to see uh, on. Uh, size coding on different platforms especially uh, old ones like this um not be able to for the tick 80 got third place and second place balls 256 byte by dresden boy uh, got second place and in first place uh, gyro by uh, super rogue also for the tick 80. so tick 80 world domination uh, 221 uh, 2021 was really the year of the tick 80 in terms of size coding uh, Demo Splash 2021 also had a, a size constrained uh, compo. It was won by Byte Thrower of Sense Install and it was uh, quite worth checking out, so I do recommend you uh, checking it. 
the modulation on the 27th of November had uh, an old school intro 256 byte intro compo and Martian win in 128 bytes uh, got uh, third place and uh, second place we had a Koku Ko Koku Kokuaka? I, I don't know how to pronounce this by Manwi of Sands for the Electronica BK 256 byte. And the winner entry was for the MS DOS 256 byte intro. Uh, Light XT forms by WBC BZ7 of Sib Crew, a very interesting uh, XT CGA uh, format being abused there. Um, Steel Adventure had a new edition still in 2021. Uh, it had the usual Atari uh, compos that it has, Atari ST ST 128 byte compo, uh, with a couple interesting releases, uh, 128 full by Leonard of Oxygen showing uh, full screen stuff, and uh, Silly Invaders uh, got first place by uh, Sedma implementing a a silly invade uh, uh, a space invaders version inside uh, 128 byte size limit uh, for the Atari XL XE 256 byte intro compo uh, we also had a few good releases Jazzy Winter by Sheen of Agenda in second place and in first place Metro by Sheen of Agenda this last one Metro uh, also nominated for a nano uh, award um, uh, ZX Spectrum 256 byte intro compo also took place at Silly Venture. Uh, only, th only three entries, but all of them quite worth checking out. All of them by Joker, which uh, seem to be the group that is dominating the ZX Spectrum uh, size coding uh, entries, compos, platform, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, Glitch Towers got third place. Really interesting uh, entry. Uh, throwing Up by... Uh, by Joker again uh, got second place, which was one of my favorite entries from uh, from the whole party, and in first place Miss Alliance by uh, by Joker yet again. All three entries from the group Joker. Um, pick which one is your favorite. I like all of them, but I think my favorite one is Throwing Up. Uh, anyway, so those were the entries released at the ZX Spectrum 256 byte intro compo at Silly Venture Winter Edition. And to round up the year, we had a Sylvester party happening at the last year of December. And it had a fantasy uh, compo which features some uh, size coding related stuff, which I wanted to highlight as well. In third place, we had Forbidden Fireworks by The Watcher uh, in, 250, in 512 bytes uh, doing a fireworks effect. And in second place, we had Duck Jam by Love Bite and Friends, which compiled uh, all the... Um, our, the entries from a size coding uh, jam session that took place during Love Bite Battlegrounds on the theme of a duck. Several people coded different effects for duck and people decided to compile it and Gasman did uh, a cover version of DuckTales and we have this pack for you to check out and also see the, um, the size code of all the um, different entries that were released there. So yeah, those were the entries that uh, are more interesting in terms of size coding from the demo scene in 2021. Hope you enjoyed this, this uh, readout and uh, hope you found some hidden gems and go check out the releases. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, well, like the entries, subscribe my videos and uh, see you next video. Bye bye everyone. Enjoy Love Bite. Take care.